you guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is a little run through on the braid setup that I'm going to use today on my Mirage with my Shimano Stratic so what I have right now is the reel spooled up about halfway with some two pound Iserline triple X and I'm gonna fill the rest of it up with my five pound iron feather braid and then I'm going to tie off a leader about six seven feet maybe about six feet of four pound test fluorocarbon so the first thing I'm gonna do is um, is run this braid down the guides do a line to line connection and fill up the reel and the reason I'm doing that is so the diameter of this five pound braid is thinner than even this two pound that's already on the reel so if I just put a straight braid on here it would not fill up the spool so that's why I've got some Iser on there and then I'll spool the rest to fill it up with the braid Now that I got the line to the line connection tied up, I'm going to cut off the loose tag ends, spool up this braid, and then do the same knot and add my six to seven foot liter of fluorocarbon, and I'll be ready to go. All right, got it wound up right up against the edge, but not overlapping where it's going to uh, give me a bunch of problems. This should be pretty good and I'll tie up my leader and be ready to go. I got a little arsenal going right here. Got some power bait nymphs, Berkeley nymphs, some trout candy, um, little tadpoles right here, yellow whites. Got some Golden State minnows. Gorditos Customs mini jigs, a few different colors, grasshopper right here, and this one right here, queso fresco, um, got some cut water mini jigs, cut water baits, a little bigger, bigger tubes, um, what else do I got here, I got some tug of war baits right here, rainbow, and like a spotty color, also a little bit bigger tubes right here also. I have some more trout candy. These are like small Cinco's, like mini, micro Cinco's or mini Cinco's, something like that. And I also brought out some Kitex, little swim baits, Drew's Custom Worms. This color always hits. Also got some yellow worms here from Los Anglers. Poured me those. And I'll be using my jig heads and the mini jigs and for the ball heads also all poured with owner hooks plus i also got these check these out these are hand tied also got some hand tied jigs right here custom hitters um pretty much like a streamer like you would fish a streamer fly fishing but these are um, on a ball head that you can throw on a spinning reel so these are really sick um, I'm going to take all those out there with me, see what happens, see what the fish want.
trip. There we go, guys. Oh, spit it. <laughs> that was fun though. That was cool. It's probably like a five. I'll keep looking for him. On the net. I'm gonna let this guy go. So what we're gonna do, we're using the rubber net for catch and release. And get our hands away. If we're handling them. Alright, let's see. what we got them on right here. Nymph, ball head. Nice fat one. ready to go.
Here we go, this one. Oh. <laughs> All right, he's gone. Custom hitters out. It's a um, pretty much like a, a streamer tied onto a ball head. So let's see. Let's see if we can get it on this. Custom hitters. Nice one too. There we go. Another toad. Jig is out right there. And he's gone. So custom hitters got bit also. again. Alright, he's off, so let's just let him go around. Right Hell yeah, because some hitters getting bit. Damn, that's a good one. There we go, that's a nice one.